There is a surging demand for lithium, a metal used in everything from phones to electric cars to pharmaceuticals. Now Charlotte-based Albemarle Corporation, the country's largest producer of lithium, is looking to extract it here in North Carolina. WRL climate change reporter Liz McLaughlin visited the mine to show us how it's done. This is what's called an open pit mine. We're about 30 miles west of Charlotte, and it's not new. It was operational until about the 80s. But as lithium demand has now grown, fueled by those electrification timelines from carbon cutting goals, reopening it has become more economically viable. Welcome to the mine. Um, it's a lovely area. Cindy Estridge has walked more than 400 people through a former lithium mine in Kings Mountain that Albemarle Corporation hopes to reopen by 2026. We get our community members down here just to, for them to be able to see it because, you know, we're right in the neighborhood. And for people to be able to come down, put their eyes on it, see what we're doing, that is the most important part of this tour. The former mine filled with rainwater in the decades since it closed with fish, plants, and other organisms now living in the 160-foot deep water, a pit that Albemarle plans to drain in the coming months. Part of the company's ongoing feasibility assessments and community conversations ahead of applying for permits later this year. The footprint of this mine is not going to change significantly. We are predominantly going to go deeper rather than wider. The lithium here is stored in hard rock. And spodumene is what contains the lithium meaning it will take blasting, hauling, and high temperature processing to extract. It's just important to remember to balance that really important objective of combating climate change with protecting ecosystems and public health um, in mining communities. The International Energy Agency says the demand for lithium is expected to grow 40 times by 2040 with the increasing popularity of green technologies that use it. And you know, this puts Kings Mountain in a position to play a significant role in the supply chain for lithium in the United States. Reopening or developing mines like this one is part of an effort to help the U.S. become more resource independent. Right now, China accounts for 70 percent of lithium battery production globally. In Kings Mountain, I'm Liz McLaughlin, WRL News. And Albemarle isn't the only company with its eyes on Gaston County lithium. Belmont-based Piedmont Lithium is in the process of acquiring a state mining permit for a site near Cherryville. 